Welcome back to another episode of Smart Fox TV. Imagine you just got a phone. You open it up and you see that you have to pay to access the camera feature or you have to wait a few months to get it for free. That is pretty much how microtransactions work in gaming. Microtransactions are in almost every AAA game today, especially online games. Some are used for loot boxes and others are straight up pay to win features. Microtransactions even ruin the quality of games that used to be great. And if I'm honest with you, it's probably here to stay. So now we ask ourselves, how did this happen? It all started in 2006 with the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Bethesda was giving out horse armor DLC for two and a half dollars. It did not protect your horse at all, the horse armor was just used as a skin. People criticized Bethesda for how useless it was, all just to make a quick buck. But we're just getting started. In the early 2010s, mobile apps started using microtransactions. Mobile games such as Clash of Clans will make the players wait a certain amount of time, or if they throw money at them, they don't have to wait at all. This pay to win feature made them a lot of money, so many mobile games were in on this trend. So you could say this is what inspired AAA games to do something similar. Sooner or later you start seeing game publishers use DLC packs. Season passes were a big thing in the mid 2010s but it isn't too bad because it gives players more content and the content was very well received so it didn't really matter to them. Soon enough, loot boxes came into the conversation. Think of the horse DLC from earlier but when you use their currency to open the boxes, you don't know what you're about to receive. Team Fortress 2 was the first to implement this into their game. This inspired other games that use loot boxes. Many games use them as a cosmetic device, and some games use them as a pay to win feature. Take EA and other sports games for example. They were the worst victims when it came to microtransactions. EA's Madden doesn't even focus on improving their game anymore. They mainly focus on the ultimate team mode they have. You open loot boxes to get better players. You either have to grind hours of a bad game to get the players you want, or you can just pay for them. People spend hundreds of dollars on Ultimate Team, and it even sells more money than the actual game. 2K would be a victim of microtransactions as well. They used a currency called VC. VC was used to upgrade your created player or open loot boxes of their version of Ultimate Team. Even though VC has been a feature since 2K13, the people at 2K started being really greedy in 2K18. 2K18 received many negative reviews from critics and fans, saying this is the worst 2K in the series. Furthermore, to even somewhat enjoy the game, you'd have to pay a lot of money. And 2K18 will still haunt 2K to this day. There are some gamers that don't play sports games. So 2K or Madden was gonna get the worldwide hate that Star Wars Battlefront 2 received. Battlefront 2 probably had the most infamous launch in recent memory. Not only that, but you couldn't access certain characters without opening a pack. These characters were hard to obtain, so you couldn't really play with Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, and the fans were not happy. Thankfully, after all the backlash, EA let everyone play with their favorite Jedi for free. Even though gaming companies make a lot of money from microtransactions, some developers don't even touch them. They only rely on their game sales. But if we continue to go down this road with games like Battlefront 2, in 10 years, you might even have to pay to start the game. Of course, I'm kidding. At least I hope I am. Thank you for watching Smart Fox TV. Don't forget to hit us with a thumbs up and subscribe. Hello, Tracy here to celebrate September 23rd's National Days. Today is the National Day of Dogs and Politics. 
the National Great American Pot Pie Day and Energize Day, which is the day after the autumn equinox. Have a wonderful September 23rd. Hi everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. The Haiku Trail in Hawaii, otherwise known as Stairway to Heaven, will be removed as it was approved for removal from the council in Hawaii. This stairway was never meant for public use. For everyone who has climbed this trail, it was considered legal trespassing. And although there hasn't been many difficulties concerning injuries of people who have climbed the trail, the council members still wanted to take down this trail, which would cost about $1 million. Two amateur divers off the coast of Spain have found 45 Roman coins as they were scuba diving. Archaeologists have dated these coins to the 4th century and the 5th century. Scientists also speculated that this money was hidden by maybe wealthy landowners that wanted to protect their money from barbarians. This is Kim and thanks for joining me for Current News. Hello, this is Tracy with the quote of the day. Remember to enjoy the journey of life. Don't be hung up on getting to the finish line that you miss the journey of getting there. Have a wonderful day. This is Kim. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.